Okay. So uh, here we are again. Um, Start again. Yeah. So here we are again, Patrick and Kevin. Yeah. Of course. I'm obviously doing another podcast today. Oh, Hopefully, man. I can speak more this time. Fuck. Yes. Damn it. Must remember. To okay, a, Abe. Today else. we're going to cover sort of like paranormal, supernatural sort of uh, stuff. Maybe. Hopefully you're interested in. Um, I will. I'm personally going to talk about a ghost story that's in London. It's a haunted house. But we're going to start with. Well, actually. Um, well, actually. A special day today in Poland. Oh yeah. And it's, in it's England, a... they don't really know about it. So, Kev, what is it? A day of the dead. Uh, All Saints Day, Day of the Dead. Uh, but... And so what do they do on this day? Oh, don't don't think it's like in Mexico's day of the dead. It's nothing like that. Basically, they wear suits and they go to the cemetery and they literally just look at the grave, have something to eat, go get, home. Get cold. Yeah, get cold. Yeah, get hungry. And I don't why know. aren't you doing it today? <laughs> why? Because I'm here with yeah, you. You've escaped. I've not escaped. I've, did you, did you I've, been? I've been before. This is the first year I've missed it. Ah, oh, so congratulations! So do you know on your what first, I mean? You know, first year, my first, my first non day of the dead year in, um, in Poland. But it's I also understand that it's a, um, it's nothing like Halloween, like we celebrate on the thirty first. Halloween's cool. Day of the dead. I had some you Halloween trick or treaters come yesterday. What um, did you do with them? <laughs> Pause that fucking edit. <laughs> what? That sounds terrible. Uh, no, I actually I bought um, a load of candy. I was going to say candy sweets from uh, deals specifically for the trick or treaters. Yeah, because last year they came, and you know it's new in Poland, mm -hmm. and they came last year, and I didn't, I wasn't ready. I was like, ah, oh, and they were all dressed up, you know, kids looking at me so i gave them tens what each it <laughs> cost me about 80s what tens are not, you know, yeah they're gonna be back every single year you know well, that, i think yeah? that's why they came back this year but they were they were <laughs> with the they were with the parents which is is a good thing and which well, was yeah, what otherwise you're paying children to visit you yeah 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 it's really <laughs> it's too weird nice. isn't it you know um but like the parents were dressed up as well which i always think is really nice like my brother Yesterday in England, he he got dressed up and uh, he took little Henry, my nephew, and they get dressed up together and they go around. It's it's nice, I think. I think as a kid, my you nephew know, and my brother-in-law did the same yesterday. They were dressed up. Yeah, what did they get dressed up as? Oh, zombies. Zombies. Yes, zombies. it's like the, it's like the go-to safe zone. Zombies or Michael Myers in a Halloween costume, but they're okay. I yeah, guess. I think the is it Mike Myers? That's a brilliant one, really. I think that's. Minimal, you just need the mask and a boiler suit, mm -hmm. but it's Michael so Myers, cool. You mean, yeah? Oh, is it Mike Myers? What it, Michael, Michael Mike Myers. Myers. Mike Mike Myers, Michael yes. Myers, not the actor. The, <laughs> yeah, the killer, yeah yes. I got confused. I dressed up as Michael Mike Myers. <laughs> you went as Austin Powers. Yeah. 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 Hello. Party, yeah. Hello. Who are you supposed to be? I'm Mike Myers. I'd kill you. No, you're a comedian. No, yeah, a yeah. shit one at that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. he's a bit the samey same, you know. Uh, Austin Powers, terrible movie. I think, I think I've got to change these to. Yeah, they've got to be pointing downwards, yeah. otherwise you can get all your spit over them. Yeah, we've got two today. Yeah. The um, fact that one of them's mine, I don't want your spit on it. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I know normal. Supernatural. Supernatural, paranormal. Um, first things first, you know the difference between paranormal and supernatural? I don't. Paranormal is normally stuff, um, to, I believe, it's to do with um, space and stuff like that, where supernatural is ghosts and shit. When I was driving, might earlier. be the other way. I might be wrong, but I would put UFOs in paranormal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I and think ghosts would be supernatural. Yes, phenomena, phenomena, yeah. phenomena. And because it's the first of November, yeah, a special day here in Poland, <coughs> Day of the Dead. It's not Day of the Dead. Is Mexico, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's when that's they have all right. the parties in the street in Mexico. I don't yeah. do that in Poland. No, all... you know. So it's All it's... Saints Day here. I, you... call, I call it Day of the Dead. Seriously, yeah. you go to the cemetery here, and all the people walking in look like they're booking in. Yeah, you know, you know it's, it's like it's a phenomena. <laughs> yeah, it's a phenomena. Yeah, uh, it's not exciting, is it? Um, no, it's it's not. It's just um, I don't know. It's like they meet, they go to the cemetery, they go and have something to eat. Oh my, I gotta but do it. lock it. Yeah, it's like um, 
For me, it's it's uh, in England we don't celebrate that. That this is another day to me. Don't even visit graves in England, do we? Really? No. Did you ever visit a grave? Yeah, my grandparents, because there was what the uh, cemetery was right near where I live. Oh, so it's convenient. So it's like a five-minute walk. I had a friend. I remember. I won't say his name actually. In case he's one of our many fans watching today, it could uh, be. Yeah, but uh, well, that'd be funny. It would be funny when you get an email. Don't say my name. Yeah, nah, he was a good guy actually. <laughs> uh, he's still alive, probably. So I, I shouldn't speak of him in the past tense. Okay. Uh, but I remember when I was at school. He was at private school and my secondary school, and I he lived next door to the cemetery, yeah. and I. Subsidies. <laughs> Something <laughs> dies, yes. Yeah. Just a random word. Ooh, what was that? Was that Where did that come from? Not, <laughs> not that we've been Googling to find out what it was. Or <laughs> well, how to pronounce it. <laughs> yeah. Two English teachers, we can pronounce perfectly. Subs. Subsidize. Subsidize. I um, can even get that one. I can't. No. Some words, just even English words. It's funny, you're trying to. We're going off topic a little bit, but like, yeah, my students the other day, what was the word? They were trying to say something and then they looked at me. <laughs> said the same as them. Nodded, yeah. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. That's what I do, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Well done. Yeah, I, was, I went red, but they just thought it was hot. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so <laughs> I honestly, I never understood. I, I didn't, I couldn't understand how he could live next door to the cemetery there was the house there because i remember walk i'd always walk past the cemetery and he's his was the first house and i always thought he's probably got dead bodies underneath mm -hmm. you know probably not but you know when you were a kid Red west like, house yeah oh god yeah like that fuck me yeah they knocked it down didn't they yeah, yeah. 25 cranwell street 25 cranwell street. we're going off topic again yeah <laughs> yeah god I, um just speaking of serial killers that's a serial killer Obviously, uh, Fred West. Yeah. You know, Polish people don't know him. He's one of one, our mates. One, <laughs> one day, people can watch all our podcasts and post bits from each one and then they get a whole episode. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, I think that's what you can do, actually, you know, when yeah. you've done them all. So, anyway, go on, continue. Not um, Fred West. Yeah, but no, uh, living yeah, in but those no houses God. after something like that would be quite weird. But Dennis Nilsson, is it Dennis Nilsson, the yeah. Welsh guy that was the serial killer? Kept all the bodies in his house and things. They all keep bodies in their houses. I don't know why. His house was sold and they had to say whose house it had been. Uh, and they lived it, moved in these people and they've, they got it really cheap. But they've done it all, you know, cleaned mm -hmm. up the everything. It's just so weird. Would you live in a house like no, that? No, because obviously we're going to go into the supernatural part. The energy that that house would have would be oh, terrible. Oh, you just reminded me of objects. Yeah. <laughs> objects. There's, there's like numerous stories about serial killers' houses being haunted by their victims and stuff like that. And it's really bad hauntings. If so, I were a victim, I'd want to I'd haunt, like, I'd, well, terrorise them the best you can, so, you know. Anyway, paranormal, supernatural. The question is, do you believe? Me? Do you hundred percent yes, you know this. Yeah. Um, see, seeing is believing and seeing that a few is more I'm than believing. I'm not sure. And especially because this morning I was watching some um, some things. I mean, I've had an experience or two, you know, uh, <laughs> after the drugs. No, but, you know, <laughs> but I'm not sure. I think that, I don't know. So I'm sort of on the fence still. But we'll, we'll hear your story. I'll tell you one of mine as well. That happened, but now, I, now all these years later, I'm thinking, hmm, did that happen? You know, is it a dream? Or was it real? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, oh, you just reminded me of another one. Okay, so dreams, then, lucid dreaming. Oh yeah, oh. there's one. There yeah, you go. You another drink, episode. If you want to do this. that, drink lots of apple juice before bed. Lucid yeah, dreaming. And there's also <laughs> look at the time on the wall. There's no time in dreams. We had a discussion about this. So we're going off topic. Yeah, going off topic. Okay. But that's another one. Another yeah, we can, we can do this. Um, okay, so, so uh, paranormal, just... ghostly shit. Is there anything after death? Yeah, well, yeah, I haven't, you know. Do you think death, sorry, do you think after death and the supernatural is connected? Um, it, it depends because there's certain things you've got to know about what's afterwards or believe what's afterwards it's a 
it's, uh, to explain it like this, there's ghosts and there's spirits. This is the easiest way to start. Okay, because yes? I don't know the difference. A ghost... Nor do they. A go- I know they don't, I'm going to tell them. Yeah, a ghost is something that has been like recorded. And years later, you pick up on that energy and it plays back to you what was recorded. It's not necessarily... So, so it's not real. No. So if it's like an anniversary ghost, maybe on the death there was really negative energy of the person. So every year on their death, you will see their figure walking through the door and it won't talk to you. It won't acknowledge you. It will do nothing. Yes. But a, a spirit. Okay, wait. So that's what I think of ghosts. Now you've reminded me. Um, like, cause so a friend of mine, I remember he was he, 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 Matthew Adams. I'll mention his name. Uh, funny oddball guy, nice guy. But he once said, "Old buildings. I don't know if it's true, but the materials built that were used to build the house, like mm-hmm. there was graphite or something. That's the same thing that's used in video." Uh, what's it called negative negative film and things film, yes which catches the picture and i always thought that was a really good um i'm not gonna say explanation but it's a good idea this is, this is exactly what it is it's like oh. a like it makes a recording and then you just watch like in us we would watch the video or the dvd and we'd see the recording but you have yeah? to tune in somehow but we have to be on different um frequencies yeah that? we everybody has a frequency level that they're on some are higher some are um, low, yes? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the vibrations, I mean, um, people that are high are generally more connected to paranormal events around them. People that are low bring in normally things not so good for them. Like supernatural, you Su- mean? No, no, not the supernatural, other things. Oh. Like, uh, you know. So if you are high frequency, well, you, you can probably see things. Mm -hmm. because some people see things and then others don't see anything that's Mm -hmm. always been quite interesting for me i always thought like it was about believers and non-believers it always seems that people that don't believe in god or have faith in something usually (coughs) see something Mm -hmm. people that are religious don't normally see things that's what i've noticed almost like because you know if you were a real believer in heaven and hell and god and then you saw a ghost, that would be like so much evidence proof for you. Oh, there's something after death. Yeah. You know, and it seems like it doesn't quite work that way. It's the non-believers that see something and they are easily going to dismiss it as something. Oh, I saw a ghost. But they still don't believe in anything after death. Um, which I, I think's pity, really. Uh, yeah. And obviously, so most people, <coughs> most people, most of the time will see ghosts. Without knowing without knowing like you might not even it could look completely solid not see-through not like yeah, exactly yeah <laughs> it could be exactly know. like this you can never know i will tell you some stories in a little while but a um, the spirit a spirit will acknowledge you a spirit will communicate with you 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 walk past the spirit and the spirit may smile and say hello this is the Fucking difference freaking me out man yeah so that, <laughs> that's the difference between a spirit and a ghost a ghost is a recording a spirit is, uh, it can interact with you and it's aware as a conscious. I always wondered about it. So let's just jump back to ghosts then and I'll tell the story of my uncle uh, that he told me. So my uncle is from Ireland. He's still he's still alive. He's not yet a ghost. Or a Does he know? Sorry? Have you touched him lately? Well, no, not <laughs> I touched him lately. I knew that would get him. <laughs> Yeah, he's that kind of uncle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, he's a great guy. Uh, no, but I remember, like, uh, <laughs> now it's funny because it started off, it, the, the story, he, when he told me the story, he says, we were in the pub. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so it takes us, like, 40% of, did it happen? Off, you know. But no, they delivered some sort of mirror, big long mirror, and they were having a beer. And he says, oh, where's the toilet? And it was down, you know, sometimes mm-hmm. pubs are like old buildings. In, it some was of the just, oldest buildings in England, the pubs. So Yeah, this was in Ireland. Um, but again, Ireland's very similar to England anyway. And um, Excuse me? 
What? What? Ireland's very similar to England. What no, I mean about? with the buildings <laughs> and you know, and the buildings and and structure and things. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, this, this computer keeps going off. Um, so my uncle says he went. He went down. The, he went down some stone stairs. So you went down the stone stairs like spiral, mm -hmm. not semi spiral, not like. And it was stone. You know, we, you've seen these kind of mm -hmm. like old cottage, but it was a bar upstairs. And he went down, and it's it's not like what you see, like a. a a modern type thing and it was stone and the cubicle was stone yeah. like you went to the toilet like, uh, <laughs> and it had some cubicles to go into so the trough girls that's where men stand to go uh, and they were on one side and there was nothing in the middle and on this side was the, the cubicle with the door and he says he came down and as he was coming down he saw a man at the trough turn and walk into the cubicle so he was like standing yeah, I understand. and he turned all the way around 180 and walked in and my uncle said I, it looked weird mm -hmm. at that very moment it just looked weird it, solid man and everything yeah. right? but he thought why did he just and he, as he came in he felt a bit strange and he was looking and he saw the cubicle door was open and he, he looked and there was nobody there and that was it he went back upstairs and he said, hey, I just... And the, the barman says, yeah, you saw him then. He goes, well, what happened? Who? He says, oh, it's our ghost. He says, what did you see? And he says, he says, oh, I saw him go from the trough into the cubicle. He says, oh, you're lucky because another guy, he had a massive panic attack because he walked down and he saw the guy, blood coming out, mm -hmm. lying on the floor. And what had happened... The guy had fallen down the stairs or something, or, or fallen, and smashed his head, and he had died like that. So that reminds me of what you said, the recording, it yeah, was the, just the, a re repetition. I, the, boom, boom. Yeah, it's just, that's like the energy that um, is recorded, obviously, it's, it's, like, it's not like the ghost is necessarily there. It just means that you've picked up on the recordings on the walls, the vibrations and, and the energy left behind. Like, and he was in the right frame of mind, probably because he had a bit of alcohol in Probably. <laughs> and he was obviously maybe on a higher <coughs> frequency than normal. Yeah. So, but... Um, more tuned in. Yeah, so... Yeah. Um, that, that obviously, I would probably say that was a ghost. Yeah? Yeah, that's what I think, yeah. Because um, it wasn't like, didn't speak to him or anything. I, I'm going to... So... Because it was a ghost, but he was solid, I think. You know, when mm -hmm. he's, you, you know, when you see TV, there's, it, you don't see the legs. Like Casper, he's transparent. I, if ghosts are real, yeah, which you, you say that, mm -hmm. you know, if they're real, or spirits that walk <coughs> amongst us, or anything like that, I would expect that we see them all the time. Mm -hmm. When I'm driving down the road, you see somebody walk past. How do we not... How no, do we know? Exactly. How do we know or not know if that person's real or just a ghost? Because you know, sometimes when people see ghosts, they say they were dressed old-fashionedly. Mm -hmm. Some are not because there's modern ghosts. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So that for me is quite interesting. And sometimes, especially at night when I'm driving and you sort of driving down a country road and you see someone, I always have a feeling like oh. It's a bit weird to see someone at that time of night. <coughs> Are they a ghost or something? Yeah. You know, there was actually a um, like you're talking about driving. Um, I think it's the Bluebell Hill. Blue ghost. Bell, blueberry, Bluebell. Yeah, it's in a. Um, I think it's in Kent. It's not far from Kent, and this is a well-known stretch of road where car drivers have actually oh. hit someone, and the person goes under the car. They Fuck. they get out the car, and there's no one around, and it becomes so frequent in the 80s that the police were starting to not get on because, and they started putting patrol cars up in the area to see Just, if they can feel, catch anything. But I heard about that. I think nothing. I think that's quite common. Things yeah, like that, it is you know. quite common. I, um, <laughs> Black Wall Tunnel, where I live, has the phantom, um, phantom motorcyclist um, hitchhiker. He'll, he'll stop you in the tunnel and he'll get in and he'll give you a destination to go to. And I heard come a out the lot tunnel, of these he'll disappear. Type of stories. There's um, the famous one with the girl getting in the car, driver home. There's even a song about it, driving Mary home or something. Yeah. 
and then she's gone. Oh, I keep getting goosebumps today. I never get goosebumps. No? I only get them certain times. I bet you if you saw a ghost, you'd get them. <laughs> no, it depends. You'd get an erection. <laughs> no, yeah, really, I would, okay. wouldn't I? Yes. Okay, yeah, so would you want to go on to spirits? I don't really know about spirits except about the exes, you know, the poltergeist type thing, mm -hmm. um, which is interesting. So you can. Well, yeah, poltergeists are like. Um, Let's start with spirits and we'll work up to it because <coughs> I think you're going to touch on it anyway. Okay, um, here we go. Spirit. A spirit is a an, an entity that can interact. <laughs> It can talk to you. It can look completely like what we do now. Um, and normally, if you get one encounter with a spirit, this would be called, it opens you up. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, hold on. Did I lock it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, so, um, and a spirit, if you see a spirit, it will normally open you up. And what I mean by open you up is it means it will kind of make you a little bit clairvoyant. Yeah, you'll be more, uh, you'll be more, um, spirits be more drawn to you. What's clairvoyant? Clairvoyant oh. basically means when you can communicate and um, with talk the dead. with the dead and stuff like that. Um, oh, so they call them receivers and Receivers, things. yes. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of fakes out there. Um, mm -hmm. Harry Houdini was one of the ones that wanted to go around and prove quite a lot of clairvoyance being fake. Mm -hmm. I but believe it was Houdini. Harry right? Houdini did that, yeah? yeah? Yeah. And him and his wife had a pact. Um, when one of them died first, they were to come back mm -hmm. and give a code or something. You can find, you can Google this and find it. I can't remember the story <laughs> exactly, but apparently nothing happened for years and years. Uh, and they even had lawyers that had an envelope with a secret code, password that was, I can't remember what it was, but um, apparently it, Houdini died first and later he did come back through and say it yeah. said something about... Um, but not, not much. Probably not much. Yeah. Was like, <laughs> but um, my, my, okay, um, my encounter um, when I was younger was, um, it was, I was 14, 15, and my granddad unfortunately died and um well we all do but you know I, but it's not uh, very nice when I, you're a kid yeah i know and i, I, nice when you're I remember i used to stay over my nan's just before he died and in the kitchen downstairs he had an operate like a, a breathing operator from the hospital and before he went to bed i would be laying in bed i would hear the <gasps> <gasps> like that you were from... say you were having a go like no, no, I wish <laughs> but you know but yeah. then I'd hear him on the machine then I'd hear him walk up the stairs obviously this is when he was alive yeah he would walk in my room he would look at my bed and if I was asleep he so would probably walk out you. yeah oh, this is when he, he was still breathing now obviously but then he would go in my nan's room anyway I, so that was just like a, a like a routine that he routine would do, that he yeah. would do and checking on the grandson you know but then when um, about a month after he died i was staying at my um, nan's house for the night and uh, i went to bed she went to bed and um what happened was is that i heard the machine come on Fuck. And I Did heard the machine. I heard the still? machine. No, it was at the hospital. We returned it to the hospital, and I heard the breathing go. And then, obviously, afterwards, I see, I heard my granddad walking up the stairs. My bedroom door opened, oh, no. and he walked directly him. But he was like a complete shadow. Um, it was like uh, just complete black, like a solid person, but black. Yes. Oh, and that's were you scared? Uh, no, uh, no, because he come to my bed. And I pulled the covers up and I, I looked at him, but because... Um, He's got this image of his, this dark shadow. There's you in bed, your head. And you... Yeah, but he's oh, not He's yeah. not giving off that energy. He doesn't want that energy. He cared for yeah. me, yeah? Your granddad loves you. So he, I got a very loving energy from him, but I pulled the covers up a little bit and I did ask him to go away. I pulled the covers down 
and the shadow went out the room, the door closed, and then I heard... <laughs> Go to granny. Yeah, he went to the granny, <laughs> but... Got into bed. I said, I, maybe, I said to my <laughs> nan, the very next day, nan, I think I said, saw granddad last night, and she looked at me and she said, I see him now more that he's dead than what he was when he was alive. Oh, I remember you telling me about and this, And she used actually. to see him every day. My brother um, was sitting on a sofa... One day, um, my nan was on the right, I think, and he was on the left, and he looked in the middle, and my granddad, completely solid, was sitting in the middle of him. Uh, like you, like Fletch and Like what you like, look like now. See, I think that if you were going to come back, like, why be half back and half not transparent? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you know. I you know, so. Fully visible. And, and then, obviously, once you have one account, you open yourself up for more. And, yeah, I do sometimes. I, uh, okay, so let, let me, there was, um, I mean, I love the idea of a ghost and everything. I used mm -hmm. to read books and everything. Um, and I was about 16 when I left home, 16, and I moved into this bed sit. And I was at work because I was working in a warehouse. I was underage, actually. It was a night shift as well. And I remember, you know, I was looking for someone to live. And I mentioned it to some of the guys I was working with. And one guy says, oh, Steve lives in a bed sit, so and so. Mm -hmm. And then I got the number and everything. And the guy I was working with was a lot like you. He had all these encounters and things. Mm -hmm. um, he looked like he had long curly hair. I forgot his name now. Um, he reminded, he looked like Hook from Peter Pan, <laughs> you know, the pirate. Mm -hmm. But he said that he used to, when he was a kid, he saw things like that. And an old woman he met told him it's okay and she knew about it and he she taught him what it was and not to be afraid yeah yeah and the one thing he told me about because it was i'll come back to the the, the, the bed sit in a moment that bed sits where you you live and it, you have a like a, a room and you share the kitchen with all the people and the bathroom um but um he said that he would see people ghosts and things and then one day he was at a house doing some work. The house was empty and they were doing so. I don't remember what it was they were doing in the house. Uh, and his friend leaned against the wall on the second floor and fell through the wall and landed outside and terrified him. He was OK. So the wall was the ghost. I don't know why. He says that... He, he said when people are around him, things happen. Yeah. And that was one story, Tommy. And uh, to be honest, you know, when you, you know, stories are stories. But when you, you're talking to people that are telling you the story, sometimes you can see the body language. They either believe it mm -hmm. or it's real. You yeah. know, they either believe it or it's real. So coming back to, so I, I, I remember just him telling me there's something strange about the house that Steve lives in. So that's the, I was going to get. I got the number and everything, and I was going to move move in. And he said, I think it was the room under the stairs. And that's what he said to me. And so I forgot about it. And I went down with my mom uh, to have a look at this place and uh, decided I'd move in. It was £200 a month and all that. Um, I think it was just because the, the girl, was the landlady was sexy. So I thought, yeah, OK. Uh, she wasn't much older than me. Um, but it was a, a really old house. It was on Watling Street, Watling Street. Uh, Wildercote Road and Wildic it's an old road Roman road and it goes from like the north of S north up to Scotland all the way down to the bottom of Britain it was an old road Dick Turpin oh uh, yeah I, I he know. would ride that road highway is, man is it the M1 now is it that goes no, right it's, up from um, it's still the Wildercote Road okay there but it goes change I can't yeah M1 I think it mm -hmm. changed anyway someone can correct us um and so it was on the road came down like this and the houses are on the they go down the hill but it was sort of built into a hill i chose the room that was on the ground floor so you walk into the house mm -hmm. and you go through and it's at the back through the kitchen and there's a room and it had a, like an archway like an arch sort of the door was sort of square so you had this gap you could see into the room if you pulled yourself up. And I chose there, so I moved my bed in and everything. And the, the in, inside that room, it was arched. And it was below ground level because it was built into the side of a hill. And outside was the ruins of a church. 
which I later found out. And it had an old church all destroyed. Probably had graves out there. Anyway, so I lived there for a while. And um, I never got nervous in the room. Like, I didn't feel any, you know, I didn't feel nervous or anything. But when I would come home and I'd walk into the front of the house, then I had to walk through a sort of a car, you know, a, a corridor, like a hallway, mm -hmm. and then the kitchen, but there was like, the door was offset, so you couldn't quite see into the kitchen. But whenever I walked through, and I'm getting it now, getting the same feeling, I had a, a, a feeling like there's someone there. There was never, unless there was someone in the kitchen, but there was no one there. And sitting in the kitchen, which was, again, it was, you had a window, but there was a wall outside. There was nothing there. Um, I don't know. It had an alleyway, but it was blocked <coughs> off. So there was nothing there. Um, and I got the heebie-jeebies. Heebie-jeebies, what a word. Uh, anyway, so it was, I would be working away. And the people living in the house, it was Julia. Julia's mum, I can't remember her name. Uh, Steve. And we were in the kitchen. Me, Steve, and Julia's mum. And I was standing in the kitchen. And I was leaning against the... The cabinet, the, the wall, there's the window, closed windows, so no, you couldn't open them or anything. And I'm talking, I'm looking at Steve, we're talking about something, not supernatural things. And suddenly, you know when I talk, I talk a lot, obviously. It was, I could feel that on my shoulder, like somebody mm -hmm. holding yeah, me. Someone touched you, yeah? Yeah, and it hadn't registered. Yeah, I understand. And I jumped, and Steve just laughed, and what the fuck? And I went, I swear to God, something was touching me. It was, and I, even to this day, can't explain it. You know, and there was no hand coming through the window or anything. And that was the one thing that happened to me in that house. It was the second thing. Later on, I changed the room. Um, and I was in the other part of the other side of the house. I was lying on the bed and the bed dipped as if someone sat mm -hmm. next to me. You know, and that's the two times. And there was a third time was another story. The best yeah. thing to do if you don't want any encounters like this and you experience them, um, obviously if they're mild, then you can try things like burning sage. Oh yeah. Sage For, works. Um, if you have a bad but, dog. But I do not advise, if you're getting severe <laughs> hauntings, I would not advise people to get in contact with places like the church because the church make them worse. Yeah, I see all those films. It always looks like yeah. they make it worse. They make it worse and then they yeah. act like the saviours at the end of the movies where in yeah. real life they made it shit. Yeah, it does seem, all the things I've read about the church being involved does makes it a lot worse. Um, no, the thing is, it happened, that, that thing, that feeling. That, but even now, all these years later, I tell the story. It's a great story to tell, but mm -hmm. I'm thinking... Did well, it happen? Did it happen, you know, because yeah. there's no evidence, there's nothing there. There's no cameras in those days. There's, well, you didn't see anything. Uh, but yeah, it, it was a... Oh, and so... But remember, the guy that told me about the house, um, I can't remember his name, he was the, the guy that would, knew about things like that. And it yeah. was funny that he said that. And, but he said under the stairs, there's something under the stairs. Uh -huh. Nothing ever happened in, in that room. I can, I can. However, sorry, um, the landlady, they used to laugh. Because well, I said, what's going on in this house? Something's going on. like, uh, And there was another thing she said, because there's a, the house was so old, three, four hundred years or something, yeah. really old. Um, and the, apparently there's a picture in archives in the library of the street. And there's a little girl in the window at the front mm -hmm. of the house, which is now the hallway. Um, but the house was used to be, and then she told me this, 200 years ago or something, um, or 100 years ago, it was a butcher. No, 200 years mm -hmm. ago, it was a butcher. And that room was where they had the salt and the hook for the meat. But, and I said, well, what's scary about that? And they laughed at me and, and uh, then she said, and then later, the front of the house, it was a funeral where they went to get the, mm -hmm. the coffin and things. And they kept the dead body, bodies in that room where I slept. It's like the morgue. And then I thought, nice well, yeah. Nice place to sleep. <laughs> yeah, and I thought, well, that's funny because it is below ground level. It was quite cold. Yeah. You know? Normally, do, 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 do. Like, yeah, you can be, be obviously be below ground level and feel cold just through natural, through the, um, <clears throat> what's around you. Because the one thing that I do, I yes, I've, I, I've been ghost hunting with my mom. I've been raised pretty much every single 
house apart from the one I live in now has been haunted. Um, I always look for logical explanations. I just can't. I can't say it's a ghost straight away. I have to look at everything. Yeah, it's very hard, isn't it, to partition yourself, and that's why scientists. But then scientists can be biased one way as well. I believe in science. Of course, yeah, yeah science. You know, um, but like some things, like when I've been uh, ghost hunting from like a young age with my parents and stuff. Ghost hunting, man. Some, yeah. Well, uh, we would go to like haunted houses and spend the night there. We would have um, cameras. We would have um, um, electric pulse meters, which is quite cool to use. Um, okay, I have done uh, Ouija boards, but I oh, won't do them God. ever again. I don't. I won't touch them now, but. Um, yeah, it, it's good. That's why I, your hair and, went grey. I know, right? Tell me about it. <laughs> and, and that, look. Yeah, but You're that's not bad. from strange boards. But like, um, age. You look at my hair. <coughs> oh my like, god. It is grey. Oh no, wait there. It's completely grey. You're completely grey. <laughs> Oh shit! But like, I, I was a young man. Um, there's there's n numerous stories, and for me to just say that there must be something because why do so many people see something? Yeah, although I was watching a uh, um, thing this morning, it was quite interesting. A cultural, uh, cultural ideas. You know, our culture believes in something. It's the stories you get told as a kid. You know. Um, so then we, in our heads as children, we can we can concoct, concoct like the image of a ghost or so sleep paralysis. Yeah, I've, I've had sleep paralysis. I, I would never wish it Anna's, on anyone. Anna's I, had it as well. My mum's had I, it as well. I don't think I had it's it. Maybe that, I, we will talk slight. about this in a second because this is like a really yeah. freaking creepy one. <laughs> yeah, it's a real thing, but it's scientific, I think. But yeah, okay, so we'll talk. We we can talk about that because then I can tell you. Okay, I would talk about my first off a um, well, right there. It's not on there. Yeah, so we'll go on to sleep paralysis. I know three people that have had sleep paralysis: me, my mum, and my wife. And we've it's pretty it's pretty fucking horrible to be honest with you. Um, uh, actually, before we go into it, I got to say sorry, Michael, because <laughs> my friend I used to sleep over at my friend's house, Michael. Um, Your friend Michael, yeah? Yeah, the one that... Sleepovers. The one, yeah, he's got some <laughs> randy sleepovers. His dog would come in and fuck us. <laughs> God, that dog was randy. Okay. <laughs> it was literally, yeah? Yeah, Benji, actually. Benji, the randy <laughs> dog, yeah. Uh, <laughs> good times. <laughs> I'm sure you loved it. <laughs> anyway, so... Benji, the last randy dog. I mean, I, I, <laughs> what happened is I'd be sleeping on the floor... And, and with Benji with Benji God the door was locked Benji would get in and he'd start humping my leg or humping one of us it, it, but it was so like funny we were like no fuck off yeah, yeah, you know but it, it was worse because then the dog got even more excited <laughs> anyway another story uh, I nearly got impregnated by a dog um, yeah so I would sleep over I don't know how old we were fucking all sorts of ages 11, 12, 13 onwards and I used to sort of get a little bit irritated with Michael because I'd wake up early Benji in those was days. spending too much time with him. Yeah, I was jealous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Michael, we would wake up and the sun was up and I'd say, Mike, Mike. And he'd be lying there. Like that, he's under his duvet. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I was like, Mike, Mike. And eventually he would wake up. So I'd wait for him to wake up and he would wake up. He'd go, oh, I couldn't wake up, oh, and he would tell me this story. Oh, he was crazy for years, and I, he says, oh, I couldn't wake up. It was like something was holding me down, and I could see you, Pat. I could hear you, but I just I couldn't wake up. And it was only now that we live in Poland. It was a, it was several years ago. I just happened to be watching some documentary about sleep paralysis, mm -hmm. and I wrote to Michael, <coughs> "Hi, Mike. I believe you." After all these years, I you know, believe. Yeah, I believe you now. Sorry, yeah. mate. So, yeah, what, um, so, what is it, Kev? Okay, sleep paralysis. They believe it's a time when your brain is in. I, I'm not sure what dream state, but it's like REM. It's, it's in REM, yes. Yeah? Coming I'm out. Sure it's REM think, coming out. Coming. It was, yeah. Explain your. Yeah, dreams, um, like. but basically, I was at my mum's house about I don't know twelve years ago. And my mum had also had experience with sleep paralysis in the same house. 
and oh. I, I woke up. I woke up in bed in the morning. I couldn't fucking move whatsoever. I couldn't move my arms. I could move my eyes and look around, not move my head. And I, I had a feeling of like something uh, laying next to me. And I was like half asleep still, so I thought like maybe it, it was my ex. Probably Benji. Yeah, probably <laughs> Benji come fucking visiting me. But no, um, and I, I rolled over, but I got, no, not rolled over, looked over in my eyes, and I, I got a really strong feel of like really bad fear, like fear like nothing I felt before, yes? Yeah. And laying like, I could see laying next to me was a complete black figure, yes? Was your granddad? No, it wasn't my granddad, because this, yeah. this was a different feeling. It was complete... So this is a little bit different from what but, I... Um, so it wasn't on you, it was next to me. It you. was next to me, but it was holding me like this. And I, I looked, and this creature, whatever, was just... It had, like, um, really red, just red pupil eyes. And it had, like, a mouth, but I couldn't make out the mouth. I literally thought to myself, I've got to fucking move, yes? I moved, I run out the room. I managed to do it, yeah. run downstairs, I said to my mum, mum, I've just had an experience like what you had, but the thing was, if it was a nightmare, I would have woke up and that thing wouldn't have been next to me and run out the room, yeah. but I ran out the room when that thing was still in my bed, because I looked around and see it as I ran out the room. Have you ever had it since? No. No? Would you like to, tonight? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> Sleep and on I, your I, sides, apparently tonight, it stops it. Tonight, man. Yeah, I was thinking about because people that talk about sleep paralysis always say it's on their chest. Yeah. So um, I've done a lot of reading about it. And I, I did a lesson, actually, on it at school. And people always say, Patrick, your lessons are shit and crazy. Yes, they are. Um, Which one? Cra uh, shit. No, they're not shit. <laughs> They're excellent employment. You know? Steamy hot shit. Yeah. Uh, so you with a little cherry on top. <laughs> you know. What was I saying? Uh, oh yeah. So the lesson was about sleep paralysis, and one of the students, several years later or a year or two later, she went, "Do you remember that lesson?" And I says, "Yeah." And she says, "I had it, and because yeah. of the lesson, I didn't panic." And she said she couldn't wake up and everything. Anyway, so sleep rest, well, from what I've read um, and, and, and seen, is that your body, get, when you go to sleep, your body paralyzes itself because mm. that's why you see people sleeping on the side of mountains. They don't fall off. Yeah. You don't fall out of bed because if we didn't, if our body wasn't paralyzed, we would kick and we would run and we mm. do things in our sleep, fall out of bed and hurt ourselves. Um, sometimes you'll see dogs doing this because they're trying to run in the dream or or something but the body's locked down so when you go to sleep you go into your sleep and you dream and in your dream you see images sleep paralysis when you wake up your body's out of sync mm -hmm. so your 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 consciousness you start to wake up your body's still paralyzed which is that they say but then it's scientific isn't it holding you down and the images people say the old hag you see an old woman in your room yeah. british people say an old woman old hag shadow dark people clothes. yeah oh yeah that's the, the, the yeah. other one you shadow just, people you just remember that yeah aliens oh, that's shadow p people's interesting um but then you wake and people always say the same thing an old hag although i'm suspicious why an old hag not everybody dreams about an old woman um but then it's like coming out, it's the wake up and the dream's still happening, but you can see things in your room. So the dream is happening at the same time you can see things. So it looks like someone's in your room, but mm. why someone? Why is it always someone? Um, and there's artwork in history and you, there's famous paintings of the devil demon. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. And, see, yeah. See, and, it, and it sits on sits them on the... and there's a horse. Mm -hmm looking through the curtains famous painting and that's that somebody painted it probably didn't but realize what they were painting there's also been accounts when people have had this and other people in the house have the, when the person's been have sleep paralysis the creature or whatever the hag has knocked things over and other people in the house have heard the things being knocked over so that means there's someone in the room there must be someone in the room but you're not moving you've got sleep paralysis Goose, i've got goosebumps you're gonna paralysis. Be okay tonight on your own no <laughs> we're stuck because when you speak about stuff, it draws it to don't, you. Don't, don't, ah, yes. you fucking know I can't stand it when you say that. God damn it. I'm a father's son. Because we're accepting that. That don't work. 
Don't tell me that, Jesus. I Listen, I, very quickly, I, I will cover like religion and God. Yes, for me, it's like I, I don't believe in God. But I believe in energy, and I just think religious people believe in the same positive and negative energy, energies. They just manifest it, manifest it to good and bad. Yeah, write a story about yeah, it. Yeah, and write stories about. It. To me, it's just energy, and we're all connected. Once upon a time. Yeah, it just depends on what frequency you are, whether you're on the negative or the positive or in the middle. Um, oh, and do, yeah, God thing. That's a hard topic, isn't it? Um, but like the old hag thing. Mm -hmm. um, in different countries, they have sleep, the same thing, but usually they describe um, the old hag as something different, and it's, uh, I can't remember what it was now. It's never a pleasant. Bit, bit Satan, devil yeah, kind of never... thing. But it's because of the culture, some... Maybe it's because, like, we talk about witches a lot in England. We talk, you know, we have fairy tales as kids. Yeah. Snow White, the witch. So maybe... That's the scary thing. But in other countries, they've got different types of stories. Oh, it's the devil, the bogeyman. And so, you know, this manifestation of what was it? Your brain, if you can't identify something, you you try to figure out what it is. We all do it, in, especially when you can't see something. So we, we, we have a similarity with what we think it is. Oh, it's, a, you know, an old woman. Mm -hmm. Or if it's a similar thing, they go, oh, it's a devil or, or something like that, you know. So, but it's it's an interesting one, sleep paralysis. It's easy, it's easy because if you're religious, you're going to associate it with the devil, yes. But if, you, you, if you're not, yeah. then you associate with energy. Yeah, or something else, you know. You said um, something interesting. 12 years ago, I had sleep paralysis in that house. Yeah. So... You, I presume you think it's connected to the room. Yeah, no, it's um, it's connected. My mom, my mom had the same experience. My mom in that house, in the same house. We like we moved there, uh, um, like in two thousand and eight, I think, or nine, and um, like um, my mom, um, she had the same experiences there. She's my mom's seen um, uh, quite a few. Um, Ghosts in that house. One of them. Ghosts or spirits? Uh, spirits. Sorry, spirits. Ah they caught me out. But spirits. I've and um, one of them um, actually was pulling my mum's bed covers down. That was me. Yeah, uh, probably. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Hello, I'm Patrick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yes. haven't met. Here's Surprise. Patrick. <laughs> yes. But then um, she like, pulled the covers back up. She opened her eyes and I. He said to her his name, and oh, my mum was man. like, look, you're not very good at this haunting stuff, are you? Go away. And really? Went back to sleep. Yeah. My mum's used to it, so... And, and he, he was quite friendly, this one. Said but his name. It's me. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, it's you, Patrick. No, he introduced Hello. himself. Hello. But um, my, my mum my believes that this Pacific house is on some kind of vortex where people come through, but they come through to visit other people, and, they and just, then they go back through. And they just so have it's a like a gateway. Chat to your mum. Yeah, and have a little chat to yeah. my mum on the way. <laughs> uh, that was like, uh, I got the book over there, Poltergeist. Uh, do you remember the, I don't know, I think it was the first one, 1981 or something. 82. Yeah. And I really liked, oh, it's a really good, um, it's a great Steve, movie. Stephen King, was it? Steven Spielberg. Uh, Stephen King. And Steven Toby Spielberg. Harper, Toby Hopper. Yeah, and the, you know, it's, you know, you got the, you, they've got all the, like, the stories around all the deaths that happened, apparently, on set. But um, I just remember it was built on a sort of Indian graveyard and things, mm -hmm. so similar to that. This is the uh, Mute of Your Horror, and that was built on an Indian burial ground. You know, it's because America feels so guilty. Yeah, Americans that. killed so many Indians, they can't even fucking give them graves. Yeah. They, they build a house on top of them. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know? Fuck you. They put them somewhere. And then I, they... I, bet, I bet they built a toilet right above where the fucking oh, graves man. are, you know? It's These typical dark, Americans. Man. Oh, the shit on people. But they... Uh, yeah, these films are like a warning not to do it again. That's yeah, all don't come listen back. to America, uh, yeah. guys. The fucking ghosts <laughs> ate you. <laughs> yeah, they, they'll come back and get you. Um, so... So where were we? The the house, yeah, it was um, a trigger for the, the, the sleep paralysis for you and your mom. Um, so that means it's the object, and that brings us to something that just popped into my head, haunted objects, mm -hmm. like everyone was just...